With the RMU men's basketball team currently in a four-way tie for third place in the NEC with a record of 14-13, and 13, where do you guys think they'll end up when it gets time for the postseason? I mean, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's difficult. It's, it's difficult. I don't, I don't think they have it. I, don't, I think they'll, they'll finish in the top eight. Um, I, I think they'll finish seventh. I think they're going to be jumped by the teams that they're tied with as well as Fairleigh Dickinson because I'm, 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 this team's struggling so bad. They're playing so Offensively, they've been playing very, very bad. I mean, they're, they're scoring. It, it's one of the lowest in the conference. They're seventh in scoring. Um, their defense has been playing great. They're third in scoring defense, but you know, offensively, you know, there's their three-point shooting. It's in the bottom 50 of the entire <laughs> NCAA. You're not going to win doing that, right? You're not going to win at all. Entire NCAA. I mean, but I flip it around. Look at their the rest of their schedule. All right, they play Bryant, Central Connecticut, Mount St. Mary's, and St. Francis U. Well, the last two are losses. Well, yeah. Looking back when these teams have played each other earlier in the season, the team beat Bryant by 68 to 54. Central Connecticut RMU beat by a score of 71 to 57. Mount St. Mary's and St. Francis, however, tell a different story. In the previous game against Mount St. Mary's, they were outscored in the first half by a score of 40 to 15. 40 to 15. Can't, you I mean, can't be I doing mean, it. I have us finishing 10 and 8 in NEC, 16 and 15 overall, if I did my math correctly. I have 16 and 15 yeah, overall, um, too. Because I have two wins and two, two wins, straight two wins and a loss. I mean, I think that, but last year, the team kind of got hot during uh, during the tournament and upset LIU. I mean, and so I think that's always something to see. Tournament time is always a different type of time in basketball.